very highly requested video from many of you. I'm bringing you my top two products in every makeup category. Let's get into the video so you can see what my favorites are. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing a video that I actually think I did about a year and a half ago, but I did the top three in drugstore. At the time it was such a great video because everybody was doing their top two and they were mostly centering on high-end makeup, which I, you know, I love my drugstore makeup. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my very top two and I don't care whether it is all drugstore or whether it is all high-end, it's all all good so we're going to get into that today and i'm going to put a timestamp right here where that video starts because we always talk about what i have on and many of you like to skip over that so here's the timestamp. go ahead and skip ahead okay so i have on today a really beautiful blue jersey knit long sleeve t-shirt i also really like this shirt because of its neckline with the squared off neckline and the puff sleeve with the band right there you can pull these up if you want to you know while we're still dealing with a little bit of the heat the shirt is very long so you could wear it pulled completely down over your rear if you need to or you can just kind of ruch it like i did up around my belly which kind of helps hide the belly just a little bit and then i will share with you my earrings that i have on today so much fun i really love that they were a bold statement earring just a really lightweight resin earring that i'm really in love with and they just they went perfect with the shirt and i just really liked them also i have a pretty new watch to me i've been wearing it for about a week now it is uh, rose gold and it has the black detailing now last week i did bring you one that was silver and it had a little bit of rhinestones on it i still have that one still love it think it's so pretty but this is just a nice change i like wearing watches i know it's kind of outdated nobody wears watches anymore but I like wearing them I have for years and then also my rings my fingernail polish all of that will be listed and linked below I do have kind of a fun uh, duochrome fingernail polish on today that will change colors as I move my hands around and so speaking of links the way that I have my links below is with a numbered system so as I go through the products today I will hold up that and a number will flash on the screen you don't have to remember what this product is or what color I talked about or anything like that you just have to remember the number that corresponds to it go down into the description box and look for the number next to that will be the name of the product the link any other information that you might need like on this shirt i do wear a large so large will be there so you'll be able to see all of that all right that's the intro i can't wait to get into all of these products with you today let's do this Order. and keep in mind since we're doing every single makeup category these are very speed reviews. Let's start out with lips because I always do lips very last and I wanna start out with them today. So let's talk about lip liners. The two that I chose today were Anastasia Beverly Hills, her new reformulated lip liners, and the LA Girl Shockwave Lip Liners. I'm in love with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liners. They have a very long wear to them and the the first one I have is in Dusty Rose. You, you guys know that I'm a Dusty Rose burgundy person, but I wanted to show you these. This is a Dusty Rose. So this is a little bit more of a, it's a stiffer formula than the other ones that I'm gonna show you here in a second. This one is in Blackberry. And I love Blackberry because it's got that hint of plum in it. And when it's on your lips, it just gives you a beautiful line. It, these stay a long time, especially if you don't wear gloss. I find that if I wear a gloss, which I do every day all the time, but I find that if I don't wear a gloss, these stay on longer. So those are all kinds of fun. The other one are the LA Girl Shockwave. And the first one, and this is the one that I actually have on today, this one is called Mauve. And it's the one that I just used all the way around my lips to fill them in just a little bit on the edges as well. And then the other one is called Rosewood. And so these are very mauve tones. You're going to find the, that I like the mauve tones, yes. I'm not a very warm-toned person, but if you do find anything in this line that you like of the Shockwave from LA Girl, they have liners and they have these. They're very, very good. I really do like them for even filling in and wearing just as a lip color too. The next now, lipstick that I tried is also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just called the Satin Lipstick, and this one is in Haze. And I will tell you, I do have this one on in the middle of my lips today. This is a 
an extremely super light beige colored. I mean, this is like the 60s beige that we saw so much of being that um, just the nude, you know, just the beige that gives the highlight. It is so light. So please keep that in mind. If you're somebody that likes a lot of color in their lipsticks, there's not a lot of color in this particular one. The other colors are very saturated and they're very nice, but this is the color that I picked because I love to wear this with a liner with a little bit of gloss on it like I am today. And then I feel like I've got a really pretty pinky nude color to go with any dramatic guy that I want to wear. CoverGirl just came out with these new hyaluronic lipsticks. The first one is called Elegant Nude. These do have the, the core in it that's the moisturizing core. So that's really nice. You get the extra moisturization with that. So this color is like a Your Lips But Better kind of a peachy pink color. And then the other color is Precocious Mauve. To me, they're not really even a satin. They're more along the lines of cream. So even though they say satin, that's what they are. Now the gloss, other. I did not have any gloss that was new to me, but I definitely wanted to show you what I'm fallen in love with, which is I've discovered that I either love to have a gold or kind of a orangey peachy color on top of my pink lipsticks and it just brightens them up and it just shows them off so well so this one is the maybelline lifter gloss and this is a new one that i got this one is called crystal i'll just put it across here and you're going to be able to see it a little bit the color a little bit so beautiful on that one and then this one is the one that i show all the time and this one is money from sephora and these are called the gloss glossed glosses and the reason that i like money so much is it's a dual chrome actually i'll just pop some right here again on my lips it shows off like a pink gold cast to it it is so beautiful and i have just absolutely fallen in love with it i wish that they had more of these dual chrome colors in those but any of those glossed glosses they're not super sticky they're not super heavy weight on your lips and that and the maybelline lifter glosses both of them are super great glosses the two eyeshadow primers that i've tried that i really like so much this year are the rare beauty eyeshadow primer and then the jason Wu. now the rare beauty is a very thin formula and it doesn't have a lot of opacity to it it really hugs the eyelids and really holds on to the eyeshadow and that is the biggest thing that i love about it so good the jason Wu one this one is almost a white one now i do think that this might come in different colors so this one is almost white and i wear it just to brighten up that eye it grips it brightens any tube of eye primer it's going to take me a very long time to go through so both of these are fantastic and I love them. Eyebrow products, I really don't have anything new to share with you. I do know that Ulta is kind of having a shortage of their brow gel that I love so much. The reason that I love this is look at that spoolie. It is like less than a third of the size of even the micro spoolies that you get like from e.l.f. or Essence or any of them like uh, the Gimme Brow, not Gimme Brow, the Boy Brow from Glossier that started all of this. So it's very, very tiny and that's why I like it. It builds up really well and holds them in place, your eyebrow hair in place so well. It's really nice and you can put it right down on the skin and I just love this for doing my eyebrow but I also absolutely love the NYX Micro Brow. It's been one that I've loved forever. It has a spoolie on one end and then the brow product is a super teeny tiny pencil that you can, you know, actually have brow strokes show up in your eyebrows instead of it just filling in. So these are two of my very favorites. They're very long lasting and I love both of them. And then for mascara, oh my goodness, I have just discovered two mascaras that I am really, really loving. Now today I have on the Milani Anti-Gravity anti Mascara. And this one has a silicone brush and it's the Hourglass, but it's not as big as some of them. And I also find that because it's not the natural bristle or, you know, like a regular brush, it really, really separates and it really gets them very long and it's getting clear down to the base of your lashes. I'm really in love with it. And it's actually what I have on today. And boy, did it make my eyelashes super long to find them, even gave a lot of fullness to it. The other one that I really like so much is the Professional from Makeup Forever. I just barely got this one about a week ago and I fell in love with it 
just immediately and for two reasons. It's got a two-step system here. The first one is that tiny micro spoolie that we all love to catch the eyelashes right underneath our eyes. It just works so well. I really do love it for separating and the fact that it is so tiny is just perfect for defining your eyelashes. It's just so good. And then you follow up with step two, which is the other side, which is the more natural bristles. Just like the Christmas tree wand, it's very plain, but but this really builds a great volume in your eyes and I actually almost like to do the volume side first so I actually like to do it a little bit in reverse step two and then step one and make them look a lot more thick than they really truly are love these and then for eyeshadow oh my goodness I really struggled with this one because I've tried so many good palettes in the year but I had to put my most affordable one at the smoke and roses this one it, it just stole my heart I love wearing this it's got all the berry tones that I love in it but you know what else it has it has such a versatile look to it you have a whole row right here that is just mauves then your pinks and then you've got some like pink in here and then you've got the berries and then you've got a neutral one over here and then you've got the darker shades over here all of these along the bottom are so good for just defining the outer part of your eye there's beautiful transition shades in here i love the peach i love the pink they're just this is so good the quality is fantastic it stands out to me as one of the best palettes that i have tried in a very long time as far as i'm concerned it just hit it out of the park the quality of these shadows are phenomenal and they're buttery they just blend really well even the ones that are super dark that sometimes people have a little bit of a problem with them being patchy they aren't at all now for my higher end choice I knew I was going to have to put this in here because this Cinderella palette is so much fun for me now I did do a combination of the two together today of these on my eye but the Cinderella palette is just it's the colors in it that really I love and I love that they give you a full-size brush in here but the shadows in here are so amazing now I do have this little blue right here just a tiny bit on my lid right there and then I put a tiny bit of this blue just to add a little bit of dimension out there and then some others from from the smoke and roses palette have you, any of you guys discovered that sigma has some of the best shadows i've ever seen and they did just come out with an alice in wonderland palette and i they sent it to me in pr and i almost fell over i it's just so pretty i can't wait to share it with you guys but this one is the one that i've tried so far and this one has got all the yumminess that you need for color and just really covers you so well if you're somebody that really likes to play with color any of these would look beautiful on the lid for the shimmer and then to darken the outer v just to give you a little bit of color and mixed with a neutral it oh so beautiful it just works so nice and i really really love this palette. Last thing on the eyes are the eyeliners. Now I want to tell you that I have fallen in love with the pen liners from Sephora. So these are called the Colorful Wink It Liners. They're waterproof. And this one right here, let's see what color this one is in Midnight Navy. This is the one that I actually have on my top uh, lash line today. This other one is called Army Babe. It's a green, so pretty. They just, they're very saturated. They're so easy they line so well they last all day i really love those and then the other sephora liners that i have are the retractable waterproof ones and i love these too they're so good so this first one is called olive i really liked it it's just kind of an olive green color and these are very long wearing as well the other one is called um, shimmer taupe this one is beautiful this is actually the one i have on my outer lash line on the bottom and then the last one is called glitter green Green, and it does have just a teeny tiny bit of glitter in it but it kind of just picks up the eye and just really has a beautiful color on there this green is so pretty for so many women to wear if you have brown eyes if you have hazel eyes just a beautiful color for women to wear now those that i chose from sephora are pretty darned affordable but these i also chose from la girl these are the ultimate eye intense state auto liners I love these as well. They're so, so good. This first one is called Totally Teal. I also love these because it is a little bit more of a fine point and they're, they're just so good. They stay on for a very long time. The next one is called perpetual purple this one is not like a really bright purple so it's more of a muted almost violet 
And then the last one that I have is a brown and it is called Lasting Brown. And so these are all great. They don't tug on the eye. They're so comfortable. They last a long time. These ones would probably be your better bet to wear in your waterline between the two. I think that almost the LA Girl would last longer. Oh my goodness, no matter what you choose, you're going to find a color that you really like. All right, that yeah. wraps it up for the eye. Let's talk a little bit about complexion. I wanna talk first about primers. The new primer that I've tried that I've absolutely fallen in love with is from L'Oreal and it's the Age Perfect Blurring Face Primer Infused with, Care with Caring Serum. Not only do I love this because it creates the barrier between your foundation and your moisturizer, so your foundation doesn't uh, get mottled with your moisturizer or anything. I love it because of the tiny bit of silicone I feel in there. Actually, it's not a tiny bit. It's pretty good amount. This is a very hydrating slash blurring product. I can feel the dimethicone in here. It's definitely got that silicone base in it. I really like it for that, but at the same time, it doesn't feel heavy like so many of them do. It just feels super light on my skin, and yet it fills in the pores and blurs and just makes my makeup look so perfected. And then from Rare Beauty, I absolutely love this illuminating primer that she has. It's so amazing. I love the original too, but the the illuminating one gives you just a tiny bit of glow at the same time. So I can really feel how hydrating this is, but then you're just left with this beautiful, lit from within, gorgeous look to your skin. So this is so good, and it does the same thing as primers are supposed to do, which is fill in pores, make your skin look perfected, and create a barrier between your moisturizer and your foundation. And so good, I love it. Neither of these pill up underneath my makeup. I just think they're so great. Then for foundation, oh my goodness. Okay, first let me show you the one that I have been trying forever. Okay, Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. If you have oily skin, you probably won't like this, but as we're going into the drier months with the winter coming on, you would love this if you're anywhere from combo to dry skin. This is such a beautiful, perfecting, yet radiant foundation. It's very, not quite glowy, but it definitely has that property of being able to perfect and just have your skin look so good, super long wearing, coverage is good, feels so good on your skin. It is that serum, so it's lightweight. I really like this one, but like I said, if you're oily, you might not like it. And then for the past five days, I have been wearing nothing but what I've got on my face today, and I have fallen in love with this. Patrick Ta just came out with his new foundation and setting powder in a compact like he has all of his other products where he has the divider in there. Now, believe it or not, this one is light medium and it's number three, but this I am in love with. I love the pan makeup in here. A tiny, tiny bit goes a long way. Now I've been raving about the new Wayne Goss foundation, but it's been out of stock forever. This one works almost identical to it. It just perfects my mature skin and really blurs out those pores and sets like a dream. It looks beautiful on my mature skin. And then the powder, it's just a beautiful creamy powder that sets everything down and blurs everything out. This is a winner in my book. I really have been enjoying it. The new color pop pretty fresh pressed powder is amazing i oh my gosh i love this stuff okay it is so darn close to the charlotte tilbury i it's it is really close to the charlotte tilbury airbrush powder i think it's very buttery it's very refined it blurs pores it keeps the oil at bay so i just love this powder and i think that at its price point if you wanted to try the charlotte tilbury but you can't afford it and you've heard all the hype this is so, so good. And then the other one that I chose is from Jouer. This is the Hydrate and their Hydrate and Set Powder. This one is in the translucent one. I have pretty good divot going on here. But what is interesting about this is it's like a no powder powder. Dior has one that says that. I think it says no powder something. Anyway, 
it's a lot like that but i feel like this one is even lighter than that this one also comes in colors so if you don't like the translucent you can get it in your color and it's very forgiving as far as the colors go too um i can go from the fair clear to the medium and it looks fine because it really does just buff out really pretty but it's so so light and it feels like there's hardly anything there and it's so smooth and it does have that claim of being hydrating so it doesn't dry me out like some powders do as well so this has been a winner in my book the two concealers that i chose are full coverage concealers i love both of these and the shiseido is one that i tried after last year trying the synchro skin foundation that i fell in love with i had to try their um concealer and it is so so good this like i said is full coverage and it just blends out underneath my eyes like a dream. And if you use the technique that I talked about in a video a while ago, which I will make sure I link that for you. But if you use that technique, this is gonna give you beautiful coverage. It's what I have on today. And then I did just take a little bit of the other one, which is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. I've been using this for three weeks. I've put it in, into a couple of videos already. And yes, this is easily in my top concealers of the year this is full coverage it's a little bit lighter of a formula than the shiseido one but it definitely does its job it's so pretty what's really nice about a quality concealer is it really doesn't matter if you get your your color on spot on even today you can tell that that is a little bit yellow on the shiseido and it's what i'm wearing it doesn't matter because it really just blended in and it did its job so this is beautiful the other one is a very cool tone which i did pick up i do have another one of these that's more of a neutral and i mix the two of them so both of these they do such a great job like I said, the really the only difference is that the Sephora one is a little bit lighter of a formula, thinner of a formula, but it covers like a dream and both, neither of them crease on me during the day. Of course, that has to do a lot with that concealer routine that I was talking about and how I choose to set my concealer. Setting. The two yeah. setting sprays that I fell in love with this year are the ColourPop no filter setting mist no alcohols in this but it sets down your makeup and i believe it's because of the caffeine in it it does help keep any breakthrough or oil at bay for you so this is so good i set my under eyes with it i use both of these that i'm going to show you to set my under eyes and then set all of the makeup and i do like the mister on both of these they're fairly fine i do have a fan on above me so the mister on a setting spray is very important to me and the new mac fix plus stay over alcohol free long lasting setting spray i'm so glad that they finally came out with this because i am an absolute avid fan of the fix plus which is basically a priming spray i use that constantly when i'm blending out my makeup but this helps to set your makeup no alcohol again if you are a mature woman and you have dry skin you know that alcohol is not your friend so thank goodness that neither one of these have any alcohol in them but again we're talking about a very very fine mist and it's all getting sprayed straight down because of my fan but yes this is a very very fine mist and i am so glad that they came out with this i'm in love with this all right for the category of contour and bronzer i'm kind of combining those because I feel like a couple of the products I have could go for both, such as this Patrick Ta. This one is really good. It has both of them in here. And again, he has his cream product over here. This is a beautiful cream contour. It's got that muddy property that you want in a contour, that dull shadowy look to it. That's what you want in a contour to get your areas that you don't want to be protruding to recede, like my high, high forehead. But this color right here, which is the powder, is a really nice, warming up powder to go over top of it and really warm up my face afterwards so the quality of these are so good um he does a great job of these i love his blushes as well but i tried the contour slash bronzer this year and fell in love with it too the other one that i have to show you that i love for a contour as well is a cream contour from folklore in the form of a stick and this is the one that i have on today and i really love how muddy and beautiful this is when you're again when you're looking for a contour you want it to be muddy like that it just works so well and if i was going to grab another bronzer i wanted to show you this 
beautiful palette from Ulta that I've absolutely fallen in love with this year. Half of the pan is bronzer, but it is not a super warm bronze. It's a beautiful bronzer that just gives a really warm look without being orange at all. It just, it works so well for me. This one's called Santorini Sun. And then this rose colored blush in here, so beautiful as well. It's just a really beautiful powder blush. And then the highlighter, oh my goodness, the highlighter is just a really beautiful beaming highlighter as well. They did a great job on this three pan baked palette. They have several colors that you can choose from. You don't have to choose this particular combination. You can get others, but this is such a good palette. I love all of the products in there. They just, they've worked so well for me. And then the powder blush formula that I chose was the Maxi Blushes from Rimmel. I had third base and I had Rendezvous, but then I got the other two. And it doesn't matter which one of these you choose. They're so pretty. I'm just going to show you this brightest one, which is Wild Card. And I'll, I just, I stick my finger in here and it feels like the highest end blush that you could ever get. It just is so beautiful. And they're so creamy. They last forever on your cheeks. And it doesn't matter if you have very, very light skin or very, very dark skin. Here's the one that is called Rendezvous. This is one that I think dark skin would look so beautiful on. I can wear this one too though. I love to just buff them out so that they're a light wash, but such creamy, beautiful powder for powder formulas. I just think that you will absolutely love those. I also had to put both cream and powder blushes in here. I'm a blush fanatic. I absolutely love blush, but LYS came out with their cream blushes. First of all, look at the pan. It's a huge pan. I don't know if I'll ever get through that, but the colors are so creamy and they wear so well on your cheeks. This color is called Self Love. It's just kind of a rosy toned color. It's really pretty. I really like it a lot. And these, they came out with a bunch of different new colors. I really want to try some new ones as well. Beautiful tones to them. They don't look weird when you put powder over them. Some cream blushes will look strange when you put powder over them, but this is just beautiful. I love these blushes. The other ones that I absolutely love are the new putty blushes that are the Luminous Formula from e.l.f. Oh my goodness. Okay. This first one is the one that I'm wearing today and it's called Bermuda. It's kind of just a really peachy pink tone. I think it's so pretty. I absolutely love these. They just... They go on so well and they really last a long time. The other one I have, I have a bunch of them, but I just wanted to show you these two. This one is Bart's. This one is beautiful as well. This is more along the lines of a rose, an actual rose color. They're just so gorgeous, but they have this luminosity to them that is really pretty on your cheeks. So the one from LYS is more of a matte formula, whereas these are more of just a tiny bit of a luminous formula. They're not glowy. They're just gorgeous on your cheeks. I really love them. And then last but not least, my choices for highlighter. First of all, the Sungasm from Catrice. Look at the size of this stinking pan. Oh my goodness. It's a huge pan, but that highlighter is so so beautiful and so beaming and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now you don't have to wear it that beaming, but you can if you want to. It's just one of those ones that you can buff out or you can make it look just stark and gorgeous and beautiful on anybody's skin. I am wearing this one though from Sephora today. And this one is the Golden Hour Highlighter Duo from Sephora. This one came out this year as well. Both of these are just pretty, pretty highlighters. I actually like the one on this side a little bit better than this side. I don't know why. I guess the one on this side is a little bit less of a beaming highlight. This one's super highlighting. So just be aware of that. They do have a bunch of different colors in this one as well. You could actually use the one on this side again for finishing powder where you just hit the high points on your face if you wanted to. So pretty. I love the quality of them. They are outstanding. You saw so many Sephora collection products in my video today. I love that line. I think it's just one of those lines that is way overlooked. Definitely think about trying some of these products from the Sephora collection. They're that good. All right, that wraps up the video. I know I went really fast through it, but I didn't want the video to get too long. I know there are products that you've tried this year so far that you're absolutely in love with, and I need you to tell me about those down in the description box or down in the comment section so that we can all get a little bit of a discussion going and be able 
to throw around ideas. I love hearing from you guys and being able to try your recommendations. It's one of the funnest things that I get to do in my job. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing really well. As we close out, I'm going to put up a video right here that you can take a look at. Let's do the one from last year that's drugstore so that you can go look at that and take a peek at it. And I hope that everybody is happy, healthy. Love you much. Take care of yourselves and I'll catch you in my very next video. Goodbye, my friends.